Hey y'all, thanks for joining us today on Airborne RC. I'm your host, John Nunes. Today what we got is we got a DLG. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what that means, is discus launch glider. That's right, it's a glider that you throw like a discus throw. Uh, this one right here comes from a company called Dreamflight. They're out of California, um, Goleta, California actually. Uh, as far as I know, this company right here, it's just uh, basically a group of flyers that put their money in together and made a flyer for everybody. Um, the wingspan on this bad boy is 1,200 meters. The wing area is 21.3 uh, meters squared, 330 inches. The wing loading on it is about 13.6 grams or so. It's uh, four to six controls. You get your elevator, your elevator, your um, rudder, your flaps, flapper arms. Um, skill level, it's for everybody. Supposedly it takes about one to three hours. Um, yeah, uh, she's an ARG, uh, almost ready to glide. Uh, doesn't cost that much, it's a good entry level. Um, the kit itself was about 120 bucks. And you can get their electronics kit, is what I got. It's a, I think it's like $102 so right now, and you get your four servos, you get your servo leads, you get the battery design so you can get the good CG on here. But by no means do you have to buy their electronics, I just did it for the ease. Um, the Dream Fight LaBelle. Uh, and I've just found out that LaBelle means uh, dragonfly in German. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. And uh, one thing about their shipping, I will tell you, uh, postal service proof. It's like they designed this box and the box sleeve that goes around it that even my post office out here in Arizona couldn't beat it up. All right, so you guys are gonna get the first look. All right, guys, so forgive me because I'm gonna see this backwards from everybody. Uh, first things first. Looks like we got the electronics. Uh, it's from their kit, uh, the one that they recommend. You don't have to use theirs. Uh, you can get your own if you have your favorite servos and stuff like that, but I just went for it with the ease. And I'll let you know how it works out. So it comes with a 300 mAh 4.8 volt and mAh battery. Um, their kit, their servos run on 4.8 volts. So if you want to run a 2S battery, like uh, you're gonna and you want to run high voltage, I wouldn't recommend getting their kit. You plug in a 2S, you're just gonna go ahead and fry this thing. Um, it's a small er glider. It's not a high end. Um, I have an Athena DLG that's being built by a good friend of mine, Jeremy. Uh, he flies these discus. He's actually the one that I've seen flying this thing at the airfield, not this one, his. And uh, he's got a flitz. And yeah, it was interesting enough where I went and I dropped, oh man, I went over my head. I dropped about $700 on a custom handmade carbon glider. Um, and I was afraid to touch it. He's built these things, so I went ahead and charged me 100 bucks. Yeah, it's almost done. Uh, we're just waiting on the receiver for it, and that's about it. Now with the uh, glider this size, you're gonna be looking at like a featherweight receiver. Um, I went ahead and I found on eBay the old Spectrum AR400, you know, the four channel receivers. Um, you need something small. Uh, this is designed uh, for Futaba. Um, they recommend using the Futaba um, I forget what it is. I think it's the 2006 Golf uh, Foxtrot, small little park flyer. So back to this, uh, we got our battery. We got our two extension leads right here. We have an extension lead. It looks like it's just for the power to make that uh, give you a little bit more room. And you got your servos and they come in packs of two. I'll show you how small these things are. They're micro servos, itty bitty babies. They ain't gonna take much. I've seen people, or should I say, I've seen comments of people um, on various sites or they went ahead and they put the uh, 
you know, two dollar servos from Hobby King with no issues and they're still flying. It's not gonna take too much to go ahead and control this glider. So you don't have you don't have to go high voltage, you know. With me, I didn't go high voltage on this one. I did go on my other uh, glider that's being built because just the ease. The servos are the servos are easy to find in high voltage, so forth and so forth. Alright. Alright. So we'll go ahead right here. Alright, looks like our elevator. It is a foam glider. <clears throat> Got a foam hinge. Rudder as well. Now on the carbon glider, it's running on the spring pulley system or this, it comes with carbon rods, which makes installation a lot easier for beginners. All right, we got the wings. It is a two-piece wing. You do have to glue them together from what I understand. That's a nice finish on them. That's real nice. Got carbon spar going down the length. And from what I understand, I haven't looked at the instructions yet, uh, there's some plates that glue in here. And then you basically, you would glue the wing together and you'd have that angle right there. Okay. Fuselage. All right. It's uh, plastic pretty much with uh, styrofoam. Most DLGs, it's one piece carbon, but this is 120 bucks versus five to seven hundred dollars. I mean, five hundred dollars on DLG gliders is on the low end. You got your little lid. All right, your battery would go right in there. Your two servos for your elevator and rudder would go right here. Your receiver would go right here. I have seen people who would have cut a little bit of the styrofoam here to put the receiver sideways. Um, you get two carbon rods. Right here. This is one of them. And that feeds in right through this channel right here. And your elevator. Where is that elevator? That's the rudder. And that's your elevator. And this is how quick it goes on. It's held on by one nylon screw. Right there. You throw your screw right through the top. Too easy, right? Let's see how this looks. This looks like it just inlays. Very, oh, and there's a little key right there. Very easy. Then we'll go ahead and just CA this right here. I could use epoxy, but I don't want the tail to be too heavy. Okay. guys? See if we can manipulate the wings. Let you guys try and see its size. This by no means is a whip it. It's way better. That's just to give you the gist of it. And the way that you throw it is, I'm right-handed, so I put my peg right here. If you're left-handed, you throw it there. And look up videos on it, guys. It's pretty cool, because you grab this thing right here, and you fling it, and you can get it pretty high. This guy right here, I've seen he's designed, uh, you'd be getting anywhere between um, 25 to 60 meters, depending on how strong you are, the winds, how you have it set up. Just Average about 40 45 meters. Just look at that. Um, your other ones you can get hard, uh, throw harder because they are carbon, they obviously are stronger, right? But, yeah, definitely won't be leaving this thing white. Uh, I've seen how people are using some stretch wrap or mylar tape to do stuff. Um, on this bad boy, I'm gonna airbrush it. 
All right. Oh, I also paid a little extra for these. I was going to give these a little tryout. These are a little clear sticker, and they're cut out to the shape of the wing. And there's a top and bottom, and supposedly you're supposed to get some extra rigidity on the leading edge. So, like I said, without looking at the instructions, I figure you'd be taking the sticker right over like this. Right over the leading edge. And it supposedly is supposed to give this thing a lot of rigidity, a lot of strength. So that's why I got it. Uh, you put it on basically like calligraphics. If you ever dealt with calligraphics, you know, uh, one part soap, four parts water, uh, spray it on there, and then you can go ahead and manipulate it and you know, move it, you know, as you see fit, right? And then we got all the hardware right here. Uh, here's that little wing spar I was telling you guys about. Uh, I believe this one goes right here and that's how you would you would glue that and that's how you go ahead and get the proper angle I'm just doing this to show you guys and then what you do is you throw some CA down there and you would go ahead and hold it down by tape and that's pretty much what's going to give you you know and I'm going to put some glue in between the wing right there so I can go ahead and glue it together. We'll see what the instructions call out for. And it is pretty much all the standard hardware, your clevises, control horns, stuff like that. Some stickers and always the manual. I heard this manual is awesome. Uh, the reason why is um, in DLG, when you go ahead and you spin this thing and you go to launch it, it's going to want to go with your throw, so it's going to want to veer this way. They go ahead and they even show you how to program your mixes right here for launch, cruise, thermal, and land. So for launch, it's telling you it wants one millimeter of up. So that way, when you throw this glider, you're going to throw it at about 20 degrees. Now one millimeter of up is just going to make the glider climb and climb and climb and climb. Cruise is neutral, no flaps whatsoever. Uh, thermal, uh, two to three meters down, they call that cambering, right? And landing the brake is 15 millimeters down, right? Um, now when you do discus launch this, they said to counteract that left turn, uh, you want to mix in some right rudder with your launch. So at that time, as the glider's coming out of your hand, instead of following the arc of your throw, it's going to go ahead and fair and out. And that part, you'll have to adjust. Depends on the wind, the heat, and everything. Um, great thing about this is you can go out there with a charged battery, and you can literally soar for hours. Uh, you don't even need wind to catch thermals out here in the Arizona desert. This thing's going to be amazing. Um, I got this one right here to get used to flying a non-powered plane um, versus uh, this thing uh, before I go ahead and I crash and burn uh, my big boy. Well guys, I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you want to know any more about uh, this little DLG glider right here. I'll go ahead and I'll post uh, where I got it in the description below. Um, I'll have another video um, sometime this week of me putting this thing together. It'll basically be an edited video on how to put the wing together, how to put that, just basically segments and stuff. Um, and then of uh, uh, it flying. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Have fun.